She got the window seat. Yes, because I'm a bigger sister. <laughs> I don't even know what to say in this vlog. Oh. Like seriously, I'm that bad. <laughs> Tell them what you think. What you're thinking in your head. Say that. Okay, what am I thinking in my head? It's beautiful. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And um, I can see it looks nice. It looks nice. It seems a little incomplete uh, or incomplete. Okay. Seems a little incomplete, but it still looks nice. Okay. Not as nice as the Lagos Airport though. This is our first um, time here. We usually come to Kaduna by road. This is the first time in the airport, so it's good. Okay. She just said everything for me. <laughs> Okay, Cab is here trying to leave the airport. Mm -hmm. okay. okay. So I'm going to go finally. We're in a hotel. Uh, hotel. Oh, it's uh, more like a guest house or a hotel or. Okay. Well, and that's I'm hungry. Say hi. Say hi to David. Uh, What's up? This is our chaperone here taking us around and making sure that we don't get lost. I think this is what our room looks like. It's Kadina Pico. Kadina people don't have money. And we just learned that. No more superpowers. They don't no. sell food here. Oh, yeah, I need to Imagine. We have no to be here and power. <laughs> for us to get food here, we, we have, have to travel. get we have to travel in fact because we're on we took a bike <laughs> after well, the like cab dropped us. And we on the bike and we thought, we thought maybe the guy was going to sell us or something because the journey refused to end. It was that bad. <laughs> so, well, I don't know. I probably won't have anything to eat. I need to eat my, my airport, I mean, my flight food. I don't want, we know what they call these little things they give you that. Whatever. I didn't eat mine, so. I'm probably going to just have this for dinner. Just look at this is my dinner. This tiny um, thing here. And this for dinner. Hi, at the end of the day, finally I get to watch my weight. Time right? okay. for dinner. Bye guys. <laughs> I have to be off by 5.30 tomorrow morning. Eh? No, we are up by 4 guys. My sister makes like makeup. Yeah, I'm going to be up. She's going to be up like 4 o'clock. Start her makeup. I can't start. I can't do the Because we are supposed to be at the venue of the graduation. For uh, what time? 6. For 6. Oh my god. I'm supposed to eat here for 6. So I have to just eat, take my bath, and sleep. Uh, hi guys. Bye Welcome. guys. Uh, we're back. So, good morning, everybody. Good Today morning. is um, Saturday, um, the 16th, right? And we're already on our way to. <laughs> we're already on our way for the event, and it's so serious that like the whole world is here, basically. The, the whole, whole of world, Nigeria yeah. is here. Everybody's coming for this POP stroke graduation. I don't know if you guys can spot people behind behind these cars. Everybody's queued up, entering, and the security is really tight. Yeah, so we're on our way there and we're really excited because this is the D Day. Yay! <laughs> we're supposed to, we learned that the traffic, like the build up, has started from 5 a.m. The event is supposed to start for what time? 10. For 10. We're supposed to leave our hotel as early as 6 or 5. And you know, the lighting was poor. Because the event was start for nine, but from what I learned, by five a.m., the traffic had already started building up to the gate of the school. It's like the whole of Nigeria is here right now. If you can spot people passing, well, we're so excited. Me and my sister have like this green uh, um, ashwabi going on, so that when we step in, they know that these people are here together. <laughs> 
well, we're so excited. Um, hopefully, I'll be able to get clips for you guys to see what it looks like. <laughs> The enzyme to the national color, company CEO and officer BC Njoku. Well, the enzyme to the regimental color is company CEO and officer TU Benjo. Center escort, Cadet RSM RMJ Akali. Rear right escort, Cadet CSM CS Okagui. And the rear left escort is Cadet CSM AO Umafu. Yes, that's my brother behind the red flag. I'm so proud of you. Look at him, looking so serious. I thought we brought local government area of Cross River State. He attended Charles Walker International North Korean Primary School, Calabar, and thereafter proceeded for a secondary education at the Federal Government College, Ikam, all in Cross River State. Join the Nigerian Defense Academy as a member of the 51 regular corps. To, uh, to Kaduna. I think this is my, this should be my second or third time, of which I was really little when I came, so I don't even have memories of that. So it's as good as my first. Yeah, and because the visit was so short, we didn't really get. She's throwing this thing at me. We didn't really get the opportunity to, you know, we couldn't spend so much time, you know, see the town, see the people of Kaduna. Although we went out this morning to see a relative of ours. But, anyways, it was fun. Especially because yesterday was the highlight of the whole trip. Like we came here for our brothers passing out and you know the military display, everything went successful. It was awesome. So we were actually there from we got there like seven and we ended up living there around five. Like it was we were being told that we should get there by four and we thought they were joking. But when we got there by seven we found out that everywhere was there was basically like it was really crowded, there was no space for us to sit. We basically sat on the floor. <laughs> And we witnessed the whole thing from the floor with the multitude of people, you know, pushing and pulling and all that. But then we just wanted to get a good view and take videos of our brother, which we did, thank God. It was fun. They stood for, I don't know if you guys have ever had any opportunity to be at a personal parade before, but if you have not, that's basically their graduation from the military academy, the Nigerian Military Academy, and Nigerian Defense Academy, sorry, NDA. Anyway, so. Basically, um, the president is usually the first. The president is what they call the president. The reviewing officer, of which he has to come and then be like, okay, yes, I'm satisfied, inspect them, 
I'm satisfied and then commissioned them as of course as an um, army officer. So he was represented by our vice president, President of Ukibanjo, and these children, these, I keep calling them children, but they are not children. These cadets who became officers yesterday stood for from like 8 a.m. to about 1, you know, and that's how it is. Whether the sun is shining or it's raining, they are supposed to stand that long from the beginning to the end of the entire event. And then they will like display some matching and all that. I'm sure you guys would have already seen that in the clips from earlier. Anyway, so, and usually, people usually pass out of fame because of the stress, you know. But it was it was very remarkable. Nobody fainted this time around. And that's actually unusual. So they are really strong, they are well prepared and I wish each and every one of them a successful military career. I'm particularly happy for my brother and we have already been planning what Thanksgiving is going to be like with the Ashwebi and okay, I'm talking so much right now but if you guys <laughs> know what these people pass through, you'll be really excited for me. Well, this is my first vlog. I hope you guys do enjoy it. Be sure to give this video a thumbs up to subscribe if you haven't and to comment, let me know what you guys think. What do you think about the Nigerian military? Would you let your family member join the military? Yeah, because it's really tasking. Anyway, so I'll see you guys in my next video. Ciao! We're at the airport at Kaduna and we're waiting for our flight to arrive. The flight was supposed to, it was scheduled for 5.30 p.m. and it's well past six right now and there's no sign of it, we're still waiting. And what even makes it worse is the fact that I seem to have caught a flu. I usually have allergies, so I've been sniffling and blowing my nose. Look at I came with some tissue. It's not funny at all. And these chairs are metallic and they are cold. And oh my god, can this fly just get here already? I miss Lagos. I want to go home. I'll let you guys know where we're boarding down. So it's goodbye, Kaduna. Oh, yeah. I always forget. It's goodbye, Katuna.